Hey, what's up, y'all? Minister Ricky was. Let me let me show you how uh, over a period of time our perspective seemed to change about different topics or different situations. So, um, true story. So, so when I was in school, I um, I wrote an op-ed. So we had a couple of weird to write. We had a couple of um, essays and op-eds we had to write. So, so in one op-ed I wrote, it was about the legalization of cannabis, the legalization of marijuana. So th this big debate about, you know, should it be legalized throughout all the states? So, uh, so at this time, it was just a few states that cannabis was legalized. So I write the op-ed, and I was for cannabis. I was for the legalization of marijuana. And I got an A. So a couple of weeks passed, and it was time to write the next op-ed or essay. And I, was, I wrote that on same-sex marriage. So this particular op-ed, or I should say essay, I argued that I was against same-sex marriage. Now keep in mind, I'm the minister of the gospel. So I argued the point that I was against it. So unlike what I wrote about the first time, which was legalization of marijuana, I got an A on the same-sex marriage essay The professor gave me an F. I'm like, hmm. And I thought that was probably a better one, but you know, I argued it. You know what I'm saying? And I thought it was a better one, you know. So, my point is how over time we evolved. So, after I started listening to my young adults, I have a younger son and a young daughter, and, and they, they started talking about the same-sex marriage, the legalization of marijuana, LBGTQ. Now, see, I've evolved. Now, keep in mind, I'm a minister of the gospel, but I've evolved. In other words, I've came around to understanding that the world is changing. That don't compromise my beliefs, but to come to realize that the world is changing, I have to take a position Somewhere. So the the LBGTQ, the argument about that, I believe that they should have his have their rights. Because what a person do in private is not any of my business. As hey, as a minister of the gospel. As what a person do in private. That's none of my business. The legalization of marijuana, I'm for it. I don't smoke weed. So I don't care if my neighbor smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. I've been married 15 years. I don't want to be with no man. But if it's the guy I work with that's gay or whatever, I'm going to respect him just like you respect me. The point is, the world is changing. See, I'm a liberal. Then some people call me a socialist, but I'm liberal. I'm, I'm way to the left. Even though I stand for what the scripture says, I'm to the left politically. So I just want to say that anyone that may be challenged with Involving or any man, anyone that may be challenged with the things that that's in our society that you may not agree with, just make sure that you stick into your tradition and making you sure that you st stick to what you believe, but still treat everyone with respect. Because anybody that's seen some of my other videos, when I would see these studs, 
it, it pissed me off. But I'm like this. If you want to be a guy, be, do what you do. If you a guy want to be a girl, do what you do. I'm going to stand with you concerning your civil rights. Now, anything else that you do in private, that's between you and your God. See, because let me also say this. People have to understand that America is not a Christian nation. Although I'm a Christian, America is not a Christian nation. America is made up of a nation of Christians. There's a lot of different religions in America. So the point is, just make sure that you stand up for what you believe. Don't worry about others if they're doing stuff in private. Just treat them with respect. And fight for their civil rights just like you have your civil rights. So I just want to say that. So over time, we do change. We do evolve. It's a new day. So this your boy Rick, man. I'm back at it again. I'm back at it again. Y'all know that.